video, I want you to know that Chris is a great tenant and anyone would be lucky to have him. Hey guys, this is Chris with my February slash March reflection. Um, in February, uh, I was living at the Airbnb and I decided to move out into a different apartment. Um, I was looking at a lot of different apartments and um, I decided on a place called CVI and I moved in in the beginning of March. And uh, it's pretty good. It includes me three meals a day, you know, in their cafeteria. It's kind of like a dorm. There's uh, lots of friends and people here. The scenery is beautiful. And uh, yeah, overall, it's a really good place to live. How is the first three months of your full-time job? It's really exhausting. Uh, before, when I was a freelancer and have time to rest, but with a full-time job, it's kind of like a marathon. You just keep on going and going. Um, the office politics um, are strong. I've heard of the term office politics, but I've never experienced it because my first full-time job. I'm learning that with a full-time job, I need to be more flexible, the deadlines and what they need and other things than that. I'm trying to maintain a night routine where I work on some of my own personal work as well. Um, I'm really doing theme park arts where I'm doing some drawing and I'm realizing that I'm learning so much from my job um, with like in terms of like designing and stuff like that. And that's stuff I'll expand on a little bit more in my annual reflection. Um, yeah, maintaining TEA connections, going to events and stuff. Still want to make that important, although it's really uh, exhausting as well. How is Florida? So Florida is definitely really lovely. I like the weather. Um, I love my car. I mean, compared to college when I didn't have a car. So I, I bought these fancy new hubcaps and I put them on my car, which was a lot of work. And I realized, hey, like I, I didn't really like it. And so I switched back to my original hubcap. So I guess it's a little bit metaphorical where it's like you wanted to try something fancy. And in the end, you, I decided to go back to the plain old regular car rooms. Um, yeah, there's definitely more rain here. Um, looked at like the SpaceX launches and stuff. That's really cool. So yeah, overall Florida, I like it. It hasn't gotten too hot yet, but I heard that the summer weather is very unforgiving. How is living by yourself? So living by myself is definitely a dream come true. It's a goal that I've wanted for a really long time. But I realize now that buying stuff is like actually really stressful and takes a lot of time. Like uh, in this month, I bought a, a TV slash monitor, a vacuum cleaner, a freezer, and it's so exhausting. How do people do this when they also have a job and kids? So I'll definitely appreciate my mom a lot more. There's so many things that I took for granted, like buying sheets or pillows, you know, cooking healthy stuff every day. It takes so much out of you. Uh, so definitely a big shout out to my mom. I appreciate you. I love you. What are some things that I'm proud of? So as, I, as I'm doing this job, I think it's important to prioritize kindness. Not that you shouldn't strive for success, but I feel like being a good person will lead to more success uh, over the long term. This is something that Gary V has said recently in his thing. In college, I've, I've really prioritized, you know, the success over human relationships and the competition and stuff. But in reality, the type of human being you are is weighted so much heavily than the quality of work you can produce. I learned to prioritize my body a little bit more. I, I booked a bunch of massages through Groupon, as low as 25 bucks per massage, and um, it's good. Prioritize your body. What are your biggest challenges? I think it's important to make time to quiet down the mind and just do nothing. Also, uh, space out your schedule so you can take more time instead of just rushing through everything. And don't overdo, especially workouts or stuff like that where you'll get injured. Just do a little each time, play it safe, keep it consistent. Value your time, make decisions confidently. If you make a mistake, that's fine, you can go back and correct it. Be generous, give without expecting. It liberates your mind, feel like you're more controlled than ever when you don't have any expectations, then when you're, you're trying to dictate a certain outcome. And lastly, probably most importantly, is just to have compassion. Uh, March was really difficult. There were problems with my apartment, with the cold water, and I was really aggressively giving the apartment manager like a really hard time. And I got this bad haircut, you know, with like hair sticking out. And I was trying to give them, I was kind of giving them a hard time too. And I realized, hey man, like all these people, they're just trying to make it through life. If someone makes a mistake, don't be that condescending towards them. Be a little bit kinder. Okay, so there's three main things I want to do in April. One, my taxes. I need to file my taxes. 
Number two, I want to give myself more time and space so I'm not as rushed. So maybe more meditation or just more time to do nothing. And number three, I want to do my annual reflection for 2017 so I can kind of move on, set that down, and set my intention for the rest of this year. Okay. Why do you just meet me in the middle? <laughs> I'm losing my mind just a little. So why do you just meet me in the middle? In the middle. Looking at you, I can't lie. Just pouring out admission, regardless of my objection. Uh oh. And it's not about my. Yeah.